Hey YouTube community, what's up? Uh, Alexander here and in previous video I showed you how you can uh, burn a Kaspersky Rescue CD, Rescue Disk to your CD or uh, how you can record it on your USB device. Uh, so uh, both of these will be bootable and you can um, boot your system from that uh, Kaspersky Rescue Disk and scan your entire system for malware. Uh, over here I have my virtual machine um, which I previously infected with uh, a lot of malware uh, such as Sality viruses, Trojans, do downloaders, AdWords, Spyware and um, I added some uh, rootkits, TDL4 I believe and uh, many rogues, fake AVs, fake uh, uh, Windows optimizers as you can see here as, uh, over here let's see how many active processes are in the background PC is running very slow it's heavily infected and uh, CPU is on 100% so everything is freezed I can't do anything here over here you can see some nasty processes in the background and um, now I will reboot the machine how you can boot from your Kaspersky USB or uh, CD so reboot the machine and um, start typing escape on your keyboard or F1 or F2 or uh, F8 or F10 it really depends on your motherboards on your computer for some uh, other motherboards uh, if it doesn't work for you you can google it of course so I will now boot from Kaspersky, I will now, ch now change uh, first boot device from hard disk to uh, my um, CD, Kaspersky Rescue CD and uh, see you then. Ok guys, as you can see here, here is the boot menu, CD-ROM, removable device, hard drive, network boot from uh, and uh, we will choose CD-ROM of course. Here is Kaspersky Rescue disk. So press any key to enter the menu, choose your language, let me try to enlarge this uh, window, this is a virtual machine, auto size, oh, I can't remember how, here it is, this is Kaspersky Rescue Disk, so um, choose English, and uh, press 1 to accept the agreement, there we go, and uh, choose from graphic mode, text mode, uh, and reboot, shut down. We will use graphic mode. It takes some time to load up. We will wait, or maybe not. Let me pause the video. Okay, guys, we are now in uh, Kaspersky Rescue Disk virtual environment over here. Uh, you have a web browser, you have access to the internet, you can google something if you need. You have Kaspersky uh, Rescue Disk interface, from here we will scan the system. Then you have Kaspersky Registry Editor, in case some malware, uh, some sort of malware can mess up your registry entries and you can manually modify them from here, uh, it's pretty handy. File Manager, you can change some files. Um, in case uh, malware damaged some of them you have your C partition over here so let's uh, let's start with the process here um, please, um, don't forget to check this uh, this boot sectors uh, hidden startup objects and your C drive that's places where um, most of the malware is uh, hidden and don't forget to um, start update to update your virus database I did mine two minutes ago um, because um, if you create a rescue disk on Tuesday and uh, you do a scan on Friday uh, it's not guaranteed um, Kaspersky will detect all malware um, especially the, the newest ones so update your virus database and uh, there is one setting I would personally change here 
before uh, do the scan go to threats and exclusions go to settings here and uh, choose other so it detects some uh, potentially unwanted programs some boring uh, pops click apply and ok so let's start the object scan now and uh, I will come back with results all right Kaspersky has finished scanning and it detected some threats let's open up the report here as you can see uh, it detected uh, 55 malicious objects some viruses and trojans here and some potentially unwanted programs called adver and other programs 50, uh, 53 so that's a lot of malware here and um, we will start with cleaning process here neutralize all because first he will try to disinfect some very nasty threats uh, mm -hmm. if not um, it will um, delete it if it's not if uh, disinfection is not possible of course so I don't know how long this will take so I'll pause the video let me show this for a second uh, it says disinfection is not possible so delete recommended action and uh, I will apply that apply that to all objects here if uh, deletion is not possible uh, well um, you should probably skip that because sometimes um, some nasty viruses infects um, some very important parts of the system and some system files so if you delete them uh, you might um, make your windows unbootable on, or unusable so keep that in mind okay we are finally back after Kaspersky malware removal it took more than um, 20 minutes that's um, quite a lot and as you can see this uh, Kaspersky circle turned green it was red before so that means uh, all threats has been neutralized let's open up the report here there you go and um, as you can see it deleted some viruses here uh, it quarantined, quarantined some and disinfected these uh, selective viruses here as you can see so now I will reboot the machine and uh, we will see uh, in which condition um, is our system now so let me pause the video again all right we are booted up and uh, i open process explorer to see uh, what's happening inside the windows processes here and uh, i still see many of um, nasty processes going on in the background here like this one that's some byte fence real-time protection this is uh, some QU player, some Chinese or Japanese, I don't know, Korean. And uh, over here, this one is nasty. MF reminder and the stop sign. That's a rogue. As you can see, many, many of them are still active in the background. Sp uh, PC speed up service, anti malware service those are all very nasty processes and um, I will now I will now do a scan as you can see the um, system is running very very slow and uh, you can see some active rogues here and uh, I will do a scan with malware bytes and uh, I will come back with, with results uh, malware bytes finished scanning and as you can see look at this number uh, how many threats has been detected look at this it's unbelievable and um, the number speaks for itself so um, here are some uh, malware detected here not many of them uh, the other are um, potentially unwanted programs here too many of them I would say and um, I will remove them all 
So there are, there are too many threats that uh, Kaspersky failed to detect. If you ask me, I will I will remove them all and I will do one more scan with the uh, Malwarebytes Adver Cleaner, and uh, I will come up with results. All right, guys, uh, Malwarebytes Adver Cleaner completed scanning and it detected uh, 92 uh, items here. Some services, folders, files, shortcuts, scheduled tasks, PC Health Advisor, ByteFans, uh, PC Cleaner, Registry, some registry items, um, Google Chrome, as you can see here. So, um, let me clean this all and uh, let me jump to a conclusion. So, um, Kaspersky Rescue Disk. 10 it's uh, still 10 uh, I noticed they uh, they haven't changed it uh, for six years or so uh, since the last since the last time I was testing it six years ago they haven't changed almost anything the interface is almost the same settings are the same so um, please Kaspersky um, you can do it better with your um, rescue disk as you can see, Malwarebytes Premium version is blocking some uh, websites. Um, host file is infected, and Kaspersky failed to um, detect many, many items. Over 6,000 Malwarebytes detected, and uh, over here 92. So uh, not not good for Kaspersky Rescue Disk. In some of my next videos, I will test. Uh, some other antivirus um, bootable solutions and uh, we will see how they perform against this the same uh, infected machine and uh, that's it for today so um, stay tuned don't forget to comment rate and subscribe don't be afraid to subscribe I would really appreciate that and um, give a thumbs up if you like this video so thanks for watching and bye bye for now.